Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Got a question here on LockerGnome.net asked by Nasmus, and they're wondering, when will 4 gigabytes of RAM just not be enough anymore? Or why won't it be enough? Hmm. You know, I remember my first computer had, I think, well, no, actually I know, less than one megabyte of RAM. Uh, then my second computer had eight megabytes, but then I upgraded to 16 megabytes, and that cost me about $300. That was back in 1995, I think it was. It was, you know, right when uh, Windows 95 had just come out, uh, and I was uh, playing with the uh, beta in an unofficial capacity. Sorry about that, Microsoft. Uh, we hopefully can make amends. I mean, I, I did, you know, you know, become a, a big supporter uh, for Windows and still am, you know, all the way through to Windows 7. Vista, Millennium Edition, Bob, we've had our differences. But 7, 7 is strong. In fact, it's strong uh, enough that uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM is, is enough. So, how long is it going to take before it's not enough? Well, what we really need to see are applications that can better take advantage of more memory. So, like uh, video processing, as that becomes more prevalent, well, then again, I can do video processing on my iPhone right now. That's how I'm recording this video, by the way, and there's not four gigabytes of RAM in that. Um, you know, I don't know if I've got an answer to the question. I'd say 10 years from now, I would say that four gigabytes of RAM, I would hope, would not be enough, because if, if it was still enough, that would mean that we're not creating enough software to take advantage of more memory. I mean, we're going to likely see more photorealistic games. Uh, games always, all nom 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 nom, when it comes to RAM, nom 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 nom. Every single game I've seen out there uh, has always said, you know, the more RAM you have, We'll take it. Well, I'll eat it. I'll crunch the textures and, and do all these things. And yeah, I got the GPU, but give me more RAM. I need the RAM. That's what the game is essentially saying. So games are going to look better, sound better, play better. Uh, you're, you're going to find a much more immersive experience, at least in terms of technology. We are, of course, going to become more frugal. I mean, just because you have four gigabytes of RAM doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be able to take advantage of those four gigabytes. Now, I'm going to take a slight leap sideways here and suggest that I think the way we think about a computer these days is changing slowly. At least it's been uh, changed in a lot of server environments. You have things called virtual machines. Of course, Parallels, uh, VMware, uh, these are uh, desktop applications, at least the way that most of you have known about them. By the way, don't buy either Parallels or VMware uh, in any capacity because I have coupons for either one of them. Yes, VirtualBox is free. It's virtual machine software. Not as powerful as Parallels or VMware, but still good for a free solution. Uh, basically, a virtual machine allows you to run an operating system within the operating system that you're running. Now, imagine this. Imagine this. You have three operating systems running on one desktop seamlessly, and they're all running perfect. Like, they're not, you can't, no hiccups, you're playing, you know, f like semi full screen, at least in, you know, the area, like on one monitor at 120 frames a second, super high resolution. I mean, you're fragging enemies on one system and then on another one, you're able to do some uh, high calculations in a spreadsheet. And I'm like, you know, another thing on another. Basically, you've got three operating systems all doing very, 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 processor and memory intensive tasks and you're able to do that all at the same time well to do that yes you have to have a, a processor able to handle it but you also have to have the memory because you want to load the operating system into memory and you still want to have enough memory left over so the other operating systems can run so people are doing this now but it's only going to get easier so imagine today that you will have mac os 10 windows linux maybe even have 14 flavors of Linux running at the same time, seamlessly, each one of them doing something different. It's kind of the idea behind virtual machines, and I think that uh, four gigs of RAM will not be enough when everybody's having two operating systems running at the same time, seamlessly, like dragging and dropping objects back and forth between the operating systems, running, you know, uh, full bore on one of them, uh, you know, maybe half bore on another, and maybe I'm boring you on this monitor, I don't know. Hopefully I haven't. Either way, that's, I think, the next uh, 
practical leap in terms of what is going to necessitate having uh, more RAM in a system. Gaming and virtual machines. Maybe you've got a completely different answer to the question. Fine. I'm not going to keep you from posting the answer. You can leave a video response comment, which you've likely already done. My email address is chris at perillo.com. We also have geeks.perillo.com on top of lockernome.net. Coupons.lockernome.com. Funicode.perillo.com. Chris.perillo.com is my blog. You can follow me on Twitter at Chris Perillo. And, of course, Facebook.com, Chris Perillo as well. Our chat room, uh, you can pop in there. If you use uh, IRC, fine. We've got that you know, ready for you to use. Uh, even if I'm not there in my home office, I've got the video feed running uh, pretty much all the time so that you can be a part of the live video experience. We are typically talking tech 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.